kind of far away. But good evening, everyone. Welcome to Oakland Heights Elementary School in our second grade music program. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Deanne Barrow, the principal, and I want to welcome you out on this very rainy, cold spring night <laughs> or uh, March night. But about a year ago, when we were planning these programs, we put them on the school calendar last spring, we really had no idea that March 11th would mark a six-month anniversary of such a tragic occasion for our country. And I hadn't thought about it too much, and you know, I've been in and out, and I've seen all the wonderful flags, and I've heard the children sing about friendship, been about, you know, being proud to be an American, but I guess this weekend reading the newspaper and watching some of the film that brought back all those tragic memories of last September, you know, made me think this is quite, probably a very timely evening for us all. It's a time for us to, you know, remember that tragedy and honor those people who gave their lives in that sad occasion. But it's also a time to think about the people in our community, the law enforcement officers, the firemen, the emergency medical technicians that do that kind of stuff in our community every day. When they go out to work every day, you know, they're ready to put their lives on the line for us. So in a way, this is a wonderful opportunity for our school community to, you know, be thankful that we're Americans and to honor the, the people in our community who work very hard to keep us safe. So I'd like to again welcome you. I think I know you'll love it. It was wonderful this afternoon. I'm excited to hear it again. Uh, at the end of the program, we're going to walk the children back to their classrooms. And if you will go down to their classrooms and pick them up, and that's we feel safer when you do that, so that we know when everybody has gone. And then give you a volunteer opportunity. We have 150 some chairs. <laughs> that it would be helpful to have some helping hands to do that. So without further ado, I'm going to give you Mrs. Vanderleest and our second graders and the title of the program, Everybody Smiles in the Same Language. Everybody smiles in the same language it is about the many kinds of people who make up this great country, America. Have you ever noticed that other different kind of people in our state? Sure have. You can also tell while you're in school, or at the supermarket, or on your own blog. And you can tell by all the different restaurants there are. Like Italian, Mexican, Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese, French, German, wow. 
These people are all Americans, just like you and me, but some of them may be new to our country. Some may not speak our language very well yet. Did you know there are over 200 languages spoken on the earth? And I bet every one of them is spoken right here in this country. Yes, some aren't even speak English yet, but there is one thing that doesn't need translation. What's that? It happens to be the title of our show. Listen. all these different people. A good place to start is with the smallest groups we know in our own family. That's right. We have to live with our families and get along with them. And by helping out at home, we learn how to work together and to care and to be responsible. We learn to take pride in the things we have and to have respect for them. Then comes a bigger family like our school. And then school it can be a little harder to get along with so many others. Have you ever gotten mad at one of your classmates and said, I don't want to play with you? Getting along is not always easy. Friendship is a mystery, too. It's funny how you really seem to like one person a lot. The words of it, Zola Tao wrote it to say so beautifully, they are one of the most popular poems with people. Some people talk and talk and never say a thing. Some people look at you.
cheers from being in school. We like reading and writing and math too. We like talking and playing too. I guess we're not always easy, my teacher always says. Children, sometimes you like talking and playing too much, like right now, while, while it's time for math. Now all the people who made America are coming together. With all these different people in our country, one of the most important ones, thing that keeps us together in, is our language. It's wonderful to speak our ancestors' language as well as learn about their ideas and customs. You're right. I speak German. Kazum talk. I can speak Spanish a little, but here in America, we're all trying to speak English, too. Let's take it a step farther to the world now. Did you know there are over 4 billion people on the earth and each one of us are different? So all these people come in all sizes and shapes, many different colors. Our hair may be curly or straight, our eye may have a different color or have a different shape. We may eat different foods, wear different clothes, and many different things. 
So many seeds, so many different people, we have to understand and respect each other. So here we are working. Not only understand each other, but we need a, bit, a little bit more of that thing called love. <laughs> We hope you like our show. We sure have enjoyed it doing it for you. We hope you learned something about it too, like what we said about a smile. It may be a simple thing, and you may not think it is important, but it is. Surprise, people, if we smile at them, they might like it and smile back. Be nice to people. That's a start, you know. Remember, we're a country, men and people, and a smile says a lot without words.
I wanted to thank everybody. Have a seat just a second. I want to thank everybody tonight. And um, a lot of the glory and honor goes to me because I'm sitting out here in front of you. But there are a lot of people that helped to make this. I did nothing of this. This was done by your children's teachers. I tried to run this by myself this week. Had a very difficult time remembering where I was and looking at the music. So Miss Gooden has done that. Soloists. No, not all of you, just my six. I'd like all my teachers and Miss Gooden to come up here, please. This is just a little something for me to thank these ladies for all of their work that they put in, in addition to their teaching your children every day. And go ahead and just start handing them out, okay? <laughs> And I just wanted to say thank you for all their help. And uh, without them, we couldn't do these kind of things. Yes, I could teach your children to sing, and yes, we could do something, but they'd be standing on risers, and that's about it. Thank you again for coming, and uh, we'd like some help with the chairs.